cooking show, so I thought I'd give you one of my new characters. Well, it's not new, but my name is May, May East. And so I thought I'd bring someone in from the rough side of town to show you how it's done. This is your name? The North Side Kid. The North Side Kid? Oh, yeah. so you came to see my cooking, I hear. Well, yeah, but I came to see you too. Oh, well. Looking good. It's better to be looked over than overlooked. <laughs> oh, good line. Well, you know, you're just in time because I'm going to be making some meatballs. Ooh. I know. <laughs> I like balls. I bet you do. So do I. <laughs> so, I'm starting with some onions here. Ooh. Onions and... Uh, made me cry a little bit, but I have to get over it. Well, you could cry on my shoulder. Oh, just your shoulder? <laughs> Wherever you want, baby. Okay, so I'm going to slice and dice this up. I know you know how to do that, too. You're good at cutting, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I just uh, came from a cutting session. Oh, well. You know what that is. Yes, I think I do. Well, someone was, uh, he told stories out of... Out of turn? Out of turn. No, oh, he won't be doing that much longer. No, he won't be able to talk anymore. So, these are my onions. Are those making you sad? So I've sliced these up, and now I'm going to stick them in some olive oil. You know, so I got my good Italian olive oil. You've got to have olive oil. Gotta have it. Italians I'm, always have. So I'm pouring this in and then I'm taking my onions and you wanna help me hold that? Oh sure. I'm gonna just scrape it in. There we go. There. So let's just let that saute a good one. Let that cook while we're Hello. Oh, just till it's a uh, little brown. Now we're gonna take the meat, you know, this part. Now this is all beef. You could use beef or pork, but you wanna squeeze that? I think you'd be good at that. I like people I like to squeeze, squeeze your meat baby. right in here, though. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect, good job. I got some more. Oh, okay, I'll let you work on that. And then we're gonna put a little seasoning. Now this is Italian seasoning. So we're gonna throw that in. Italian, you got to be a little parsley. Throw this away. Okay. Waste not, what not. That's right. Somebody died for that. You don't want to waste it. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, we're going to put a little Parmesan. Love Parmesan. That's good too. I'm just going to use a scooper. Gives it a little kick there, some grated. And this is for the breading. Now that's right here. You can hear it going, so I'm gonna take my spatula. And I'll take it. You wanna just stir that a little bit. Anything you say, baby. Have you ever done that? No. Oh, something new. I like to do new things. I bet you do. <laughs> okay, so now this is a fourth a cup of milk, and I'm going to put it in. You could use breadcrumbs. If you don't have breadcrumbs, you could use another thing like uh, a real piece of bread. You can also use, let's say, some rice, or you could use oatmeal or something like that. I like oatmeal. I do too, it's got protein. In fact, I have yeah. a character named Annie Oatley. Ooh, baby. <laughs> yes. So, I'm just putting in some bread here, and we're gonna just crumble it because it's nice and soft. It went soft like, on me. I know. I like soft things. You like hard things too, I guess. Yeah, I do. Baby. <laughs> anyway, so I'm pouring this in here. We're gonna let that soak. And then this is going to be helping with the egg. So we're going to put the egg in it too. This is a binder. And it's going to make it all stick together better. Okay. 
So I'm gonna mix this up. How are you doing on your onions? Need the has to be done more. Okay. Just yeah. have to be sauteed a little bit. Just keep it. It's almost done. I'm trying to see how it gets so burn. Have to That's be well done. No, they just have to be middle because we're cooking it again. We're gonna bake it. Oh baby. Mm -hmm. Shake and bake. The baker, shaking and baking. Okay, so let's see how we're doing on here. So I think that's good. Is this is your original recipe. Well, you know, you can do so many things creatively with meat. <laughs> so I'm just adding different things to it. Let's mush this up a little bit. You want me to mush it? Would you like to? I'd like to have you mush. Okay. I'd mush anything you want. I'd let you mush that first. And then I'll put this in so you have it. I'm just mashing this up a little bit. Because this is going to all get mixed up. Don't get it on my soup. That's up to you. Hopefully. So we just smash this up together. Mm. And the most important thing is garlic. So while you're doing that, garlic is really important. I have these already oh, cut. You get VBB from garlic. You get what? VBB. What's that? Very bad breath. Oh. <laughs> but it's going to be cooked down and you won't even notice. Well, maybe. So I'm taking this garlic, I'm mincing it, and I'm going to throw that in too. Looking I good. Eat, I eat garlic. Every day? Herbs. No tablets. Oh, that's yeah. healthy for you. It's yeah. Not only does it get rid of vampires, but it gets rid of <laughs> disease. Somewhat. It's like an antioxidant. Once. What was it called? Look at this, baby. That looks good. You're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. I like the way you mix the meat. Yes. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to put this in there too. While you're doing that, let's see. Salt and pepper too. Here's a little basil. Let's just throw some in. That's yeah. always good. Basil's good. And while you're mixing, I'm going to throw in some fresh ground pepper. And in a villa. Make good meatballs. Nothing better than fresh pepper. And a little more salt. Not too much. Nope, oh, just a little. This is a salt grinder. I didn't know you could. Nope, it doesn't open. Why does it have to get a little? Prop screwed up. Okay, here's one already. I was going to grind my salt, but it doesn't matter. It's salt, salt. You just put like a little bit of a half a teaspoon. Whoa. Nothing is coming out. Okay. Now I'm going to throw in this garlic. Am I a good helper or what? You're a good helper. I'm going to have to have you throw this in now. Let's see. Wow, you did a good job of mixing. I'm a good mixer. I bet you are. So now we're going to add the last finishing touch, the sautéed onions. And just mix it in. That looks amazing. I'm going to do a lot of mixing on this. Mm -mm, but it's going to make it taste so good. I'll let you get to your mixing. Okay, May. Okay. Oh, <laughs> there you go. So I'm using an ice cream scooper just to make it fast and a little knife and we're going to put them right into this pan which I spray with my olive oil, more olive oil spray. So that looks good. Everybody it's smelling needs, good. Everybody needs to use olive oils. Healthy. Trans the no Italians trans fat. always use it. Mediterranean diet. Oh yeah. 
You need a lot of onions here. Yep. Jeez. All right. So Ready? now, let's just take a. We'll make three across. Thank you. Three more coming up. Oh, okay. Too many onions in that one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we got carried away, I think. <laughs> yeah. Or that was too big an onion. I should have gotten a smaller one. Sometimes things get too big on me, you know what I mean? Oh, baby. <laughs> okay. Kind of like a, my balls a little tighter, but I'm Is trying to smash your it. Your balls in. a little tighter? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> and one more row, and we're done. Too many onions here. <laughs> I think I put too many. Yes. You don't have to use them all. It's, these are bigger than my last ones. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> okay, that's good. So we have all of these made. And now we're going to stick them in the oven. So I have this in my toaster oven. It's going to be... 400 to 425 degrees. 15 minutes. Yes, 15 minutes. It's on a timer, which is great. You can just leave it there and now work on your sauce. So, after I clean the pan, I was going to use, you can use the same pan, that's how I noticed this would be good. And we pour the sauce. And then we just wait till the Oops. Okay. So it's clean. Yep. Watch my soup. <laughs> All right. So we'll wait till the um, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna recook that in the sauce. So it's gonna get the flavors of the sauce. It's gonna get hotter, and Ooh. it's gonna be really good. So I bet you can serve them over different things. You could serve them over pasta or rice or just eat them on a stick, you know. Angel hair. Angel hair uh -huh. pasta. That cooks fastest. So that's good. I love angel hair. I bet you do. So now that that's cooking, we're going to wait another 15 minutes and we'll be right back. Don't go away. Yes, we will. These are the meatballs and they're all browned from the oven. So I'm going to add them to my tomato sauce. So let's not get squashed. We don't want to get anything dirty. I have used 80% eight, lean and 20% fat as far as the meatballs. It's healthy. And it also gives it flavor. You have to have that to give it moisture. You can see they look fabulous. Mm -mm -mm. They smell wonderful, but I'm draining the fat because, of course, I don't need to put that in. And then let this cool off here. And then I'm going to turn this on. Here, and I'm just going to cook them in the sauce on a kind of low heat. And this way, the flavor of the tomato sauce is going to be penetrating, oh, penetrating into my Ooh. meatballs. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? Mm-hmm. So that then, looks good. You look good. You look good. Can't, we all look good. Everything looks good. Can't beat that with a stick. Oh, well, you could, but it might be painful. Oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. All right, so let's just let that 
Do you want to hand me that lid? If you cover everything while you're cooking, it keeps the heat in. Ooh. You like to keep it hot, you know. Ooh. And it saves energy. So mm -hmm. after you let them saute for another 10, 15 minutes in the sauce, mm. I'm going to show you what that looks like. And you can serve this over any kind of pasta, or you can use them for an appetizer, or yum. just that. Yum, so. yum, give me some. <laughs> that rhymes. So, thanks for joining us again on Cooking In with Joyce Lynn and my special guest, Mel Novak, otherwise known as the Northside Kid, and Joyce Lynn as May East. Yeah. Is that an egg roll in your pocket? Are you just glad to see me? Ooh, baby, I'll show you. Well, I liked your character. This is actually not the Northside Kid, and I'm really not May East. This is fabulous, talented Mel Novak. And so, Mel, what are you doing lately? <laughs> well, you're not been, making balls. <laughs> ooh, been really busy with films. I did four films in uh, 2015, three in 2016. I'm signed for five this year, 2017. Been busy. And you've been playing a lot of mobsters? Yeah. <laughs> I love to play the mobsters. I bet. <laughs> so you also um, and, uh, do a lot of... And you as a mall would be really good. <laughs> yeah, so it's more fun to be bad, isn't it? Love to be bad. Because we're so good during the week that we have to do this, right? <laughs> well, this one gal keeps telling me, you're bad. And that means you're good. Yeah. <laughs> so what kind of stuff, um, should we look for you on something coming up? Well, Syndicate Smasher. Uh, oh, so it, you're it, also a mobster in that? Yeah. I, 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 you I, are so duded up all the time. That's my signature. Custom made suit. I have two-tone shoes. You can't see it on there, but they're black and white. And. Uh, of course, I got my hat. Well, let's model this. Give it a whirl. <laughs> this is Mel Novak's Syndicate Smasher signature look. Yeah, they can see that on uh, Google or the trailer. Look at the trailer. Okay, we'll look it up. And uh, our yeah, we work together on in uh, Samurai Cop too. Samurai Cop. Directed and produced by the most excellent Gregory, Gregory Hatanaka. Hatanaka. Very excellent. I love working for him. He's wonderful. Yes. And so we're so lucky that, you know, he... Blessed. Kind of, yes. Blessed, blessed to be. That's right. <laughs> Too and blessed Mel to be stressed. also a um, pastor. Well, I have a Skid Row prison ministry I've done for 34 years. Uh, I really broken people, wounded people, and uh, whether it's prisons or Skid Row, it's very difficult. Uh, New Year's Eve, I had a date with 97 women. Oh. <laughs> Chino Women's Prison. That's awesome. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good night. <laughs> yes, but uh, okay, <laughs> I'll leave it like that. <laughs> So that's it, and thank you for joining us again, me and Mel, <laughs> or the North Side Kid and my East. That's right. And um, we'll be back next week with another episode of Cooking In with Joyce Lynn.